Okay, this is mission number two on uh, combat mission and a bridge across the Euphrates uh, north. This is the briefing screen for it. Uh, what we're tasked with doing is to take a water plant and maintain those structures there and then take the village and maintain structures there too as well. And then uh, go to the canal and reinforce there until we can get uh, and hold that position against counterattacks. So that's what our mission is at this point. This is a uh, night mission. This is our forces. What are these puppies? This is a fighting vehicle. I'm going to have to go back and look through some of these uh, notes again. These are lightly armed vehicles. Murat, Imrat. Get a bunch of those. we have here? Infantry fighting vehicle. Okay, so it looks like these are kind of uh, like uh, Bradley's. Okay, let's take a look at the big picture here. So here's the water for purification plant. This is our first objective. We're to maintain these buildings. Here's the Vilia Sharat swamp, which they've nicely plugged red. We're tr to use, not to use artillery in here. Try to preserve the locals if we can. And then here's the bridgehead on the canal. This looks like a crossing here, so that looks like the obvious point where they well, they can shoot at us. From, okay, this is not a berm. Okay, interesting. It looks like we might be able to even cross this, or they can cross this, since we're supposed to hold it. But it'd be a good defensive fortification in any regard. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is take a couple of the tanks, or the fighting vehicles, and bring them up into this area, and probe this side of the this is the east side of the uh, plant and have them anchor this location in case anything decides to come up this way I'll put a uh, scout uh, up here to monitor a forward observer to monitor from this location and then I'll bring the main force over here and to my right the screen right and then use probably probe up to here use this grove as cover assuming it's not got infantry in it or something i'll bring up my force to be covered by this grove here then swing over to here with scouts to try to find out if there's anything in here maybe a, a fighting vehicle and through here and that way i can then the force will be blocked here from view from the purification plant we'll use this to move down through here and then to come across to this ford over here. Um, the problem with this is this is probably what they expect us to do. Uh, but this is the this is a ford over the canal. I'm assuming I can get through here, and then I can start at one end of the uh, uh, project and move myself to the um, what is that to the west. So I think that's. Uh, what we're going to do at this point. We're going to set up and then we'll come back. All right, here we go.
Alright, so we've taken our initial positions. We're starting our second move. We're basically, we're splitting up our forces at this point. We'll take our observer, who is on the right-hand side of the screen in the uh, little uh, narrow defile there, and he'll move up to the two uh, fighting vehicles to my left. These two fighting vehicles here are moving up to the uh, grove to provide security there and to scout for enemy forces. So, everybody is in position. We're going to dismount these guys here, and then uh, we will uh, have him scout forward and see uh, what he can see. Uh, there isn't any high ground around here that I can tell. It looks pretty flat everywhere. So, this is going to have to do for right now. Okay. We have t our fighting vehicles up here. So far, so good. Okay, I didn't order this guy down here. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he was supposed to stop over here by the end of this post. He seems to be off on a little bit of a tangent here. Okay. Something went wrong with that. <laughs> Not sure what it was. This guy over here, he's the only one that seems to have done what I wanted him to do. Alright, so they're moving up. seem to be looking in the wrong direction, but I guess that's alright. Maybe. I don't know. So far we haven't gotten any uh, contact yet, so that's good. Once the uh, initial uh, MRAP forces are stabilized or situated, then we'll start to move ahead. Uh, we'll probably do that at least with observers, at least one recon squad initially, and then uh, we'll start... Um, moving in with our, our uh, fighting vehicles. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're now in our next move phase. We're bringing up our uh, vehicles uh, to the west uh, to array along that side and then we'll start moving forward slowly. Uh, they said not to destroy the building, so I'm kind of wondering if that means If that means I can't use light machine guns and things like that. He's going to have his driver's license revoked.
Uh, I'm starting to learn the cues, or the uh, keys. Uh, tab view is the uh, view lock. You know, I could see now that I could get up to these little uh, hills here in front of the canal, on the edge of the canal, and that might allow me to get a little better view of what's going on. This is as low as I can get done here. Okay, this is cool. I can also see that I can use this tree line over here to move my troops up alongside of to get down to the, uh, the canal here and be able to uh, infiltrate this in this particular area. I assume that they're going to have enemy forces in here that'll be uh, their primary line of attack. Uh, but I'm not sure of that, but this would be a great way to find out. Look at this tree line here. Uh, even though it is dark, uh, nonetheless, this would cover my troops pretty well, I think. Okay, this is to give you an overview of the moves. Uh, we're going to bring back a couple of the uh, MRATs uh, to over to this location and offload troops here. We'll be taking the rest of the MRATs from over here and setting them up across the line so that we can start making it forward. A bunch of the MRAPs are going to go over here, offload troops, and they're going to get into the that tree line, and then they're going to move down towards the canal down here. And that's kind of what we're going to do. I'm going to drop off, uh, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off these two uh, units here, or these units here, so they can get into this grove, and hopefully they can start to spot for us. This way at least to get the benefit of trying to see how I uh, set it up. It takes so long to set up the movement sometimes. Uh, I felt that I was trying to find a way to compromise on showing you how the units were set up and uh, so that you have some idea of what's happening uh, when it gets going. But I think this is a good compromise. Is the uh, anti-tank platoon commander. It's probably not the best person to be sending up here. But Or disembarking. This group is going to be the one that will make the initial contact. Now these guys are supposed to move up into this canal, a little hummock to the right here. That's what they're supposed to do. I wanted, This is the only high ground, so to speak, anywhere around here, so... Hopefully they'll be able to get up there uh, before the end of the turn. Uh, not quite, but really close. <laughs> All right, so with these units over to the left, or uh, we'll be unloading. Let's see. Okay, it looks like these guys will be able to see. I hope. So far they haven't seen anything, which is a little disturbing, but it is night, but they should still have the optics to be able to see. We've got other troops uh, moving forward. These are four observers, or command, I think. This is one of our other units here. You can see in the distance the troops moving across. He's an overwatch here. Troops are dismounting into the uh, brush along the Euphrates River. 
They're in the hunt mode right now. This must be water or swamp here because I couldn't get them to go into this area at all. Alright. So we're moving along. We've got the troops deployed. I've got some troops uh, forward up here. Basically, they're going to be our close assault when we get going here. This is anti-tank group here. There we go. Now hopefully we're going to make contact first over in the tree line, or at least these guys will have a chance to uh, move down that way. That's what I'm counting on at this point. Get them down to the end of the trees and then start to move to the canal. And just as they move to the canal, I'll start to open fire with light machine gun fire on these structures. I can assume this structure in the over here is going to be of concern to us. Most of our troops are in there. Uh, I think they're probably too far away still, so... But I've got this other group coming up here, and I'm going to have them check the canal that they're they're uh, paralleling here, and to make sure it's safe for them. I don't want to lose these guys. There are only uh, real eyes here uh, for artillery. That would be a big mistake to lose those turkeys. Okay. Here's the movement. I'm going to be bringing these uh, three MRACs over here, and they'll be setting up along the uh, fighting vehicles. And then here we'll have these three MRAPs. They'll set up in between the fighting vehicles as well. The troops will continue to make their line down the uh, tree line here along the Euphrates River. Uh, they are prepared for conflict, uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, these troops are taking up observation points uh, here so that they can uh, see if they can observe any, mov any enemy movement in this location. These guys will continue to make uh, check this canal out, and the uh, forward observers, uh, which is this binocular here, will continue to uh, close in on this area trying to uh, see what we can see. Um, I could probably, let me see, you know what? This would probably be a good time to drop some artillery on these guys here. I think we'll do that. We're going to do a linear target. Okay, we'll do three guns. We'll do, what do you want to do? Medium, medium, personnel, immediate. Mission. Over. Our troops will be this close. I think that'll be all right. So let's uh, let's hit it. These uh, vehicles will be able to uh, provide machine gun fire. We're in the movement phase now. I made one mistake uh, that I've noticed now is that when I had these troops in their vehicles, I should have had them gain extra anti missiles, anti tank missiles. And that I should have done. These guys will move up this close, and that'll be it till after the barrage is over with. They should be able to uh, provide a, a world of hurt on anybody in that trench. They do have some cover. Uh, this guy's got a, uh, looks like a javelin or a tripod mounted javelin. Uh, I suppose it's whatever the. Let's see, what is this? It's a uh, anti-tank guided missile, 170 millimeter. Uh, I think this is it's a gill. Uh, interesting. Well, that's cool. We're ready to go. Let's we'll see if we can uh, get that artillery barrage moving. Fire mission request received. Out. Shot. Shot out. This is as far as they're going to move. I hope. That's their where they're spotting for. Okay. Flash. Flash out. Roger. Fire for effect. Air burst. Whoa, 
wait a minute, what was that? Somebody was firing. Is that you? So he saw something over here. What did you see? Okay, well, we don't know. It's near an enclosed area. Well, on a road system of some sort. It almost looks like a little town or something here. Okay, well, that's cool. So those are our first shots uh, by a vehicle. All right, we'll wait until the uh, barrage is over with. So, maybe one more time. I'm kind of worried now that there might be more forces over here uh, to the uh, southwest. I'm not too worried, I don't think. And the mission out. Alright, that's it. Alright, the next turn we'll be able to bring up our... Uh, We'll start moving our troops into the canal here. We've got two ready to go, and then two in backup. I didn't want to cluster them all here until I thought I could uh, sort of assess what the uh, what kind of enemies we would have. Oh, there's a vehicle over there. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. So that definitely the enemy seems to be bringing forward forces. I wonder if this place has even got any defenders at it. Yep, there it is. The BMP 1P. Uh, looks damaged. Yeah, there's another one over here to the right, so that's what those two things were. Okay, good to know. So they do have some BMPs coming over. Okay, very good. 